All right, today I will be teaching you how to use this. Uh, GMix Lite Mobile Keyboard and Mouse Adapter. Cause the rest of the tutorials on YouTube in in English, so this one. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is hook the mouse and the keyboard up via USB and then plug it in. This one works for the USB type C. Yeah, this works for USB type C. So yeah, once you have it activated, you go to your Bluetooth settings. Yeah, you see it's connected. It's mix android underscore seven one. Okay, I'm going to connect it. Yeah, I'm gonna connect it to this phone. Okay. So turn on the Bluetooth. Once that is connected, connect it again. Okay, done. Now you look for the Key Gamer app right there. After you found the Key Gamer app, uh, you have to wait for it to read the device. Yeah, you can see device connected or whatever. These are the games that I already have preset it for the app already. Uh, and it was some popular games that I caused. So let's demonstrate how you use it. I already have presets for this already, but I can make new ones. So, well, you can see how this works. Wait for it to load. Alright. Alright, alright. We do like a bot match. Practice move. Practice mode to show you how this goes. Okay, these pieces I have here, they all work. Yeah, they all work. Okay, so. Okay, so Okay, so how to set this up. How oh, would I set this up? Okay, so I have this. Nah. That's how Configuration set already. My personal configuration, and there's an official one you could also use. This is the preset that comes with the adapter specifically for this game. So I'm gonna go to my config and add an X config. I'm gonna do it. Long press the screen. After you long press the screen, something like that will pop up. And for my moving button, I want this to be WASD. So I'm gonna press W on the keyboard. Then you select WASD to confirm. And then show you this. And then drag it to where the button, the moving button is on the screen. If it's too big, just press 
press it again and it'll shrink down the side. Long press, then press whatever button you want this to be on your mouse. I use my left click. Reloading, cover me. Left click. Drag it down to make sure it's Reloading. directly on the button. Long press. Reloading. Right click. Long press. Space bar. Long press. Mine is I like the I prefer my crouch to be CTRL, so I'm gonna put that there. CTRL. This the mouse that I use for this has the side buttons. Hold on, wait. Yeah, the mouse I use for has side buttons. Because the scroll wheel only goes scrolls up and down. So Long press R for reload. Long press Reloading. up. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, back to the piece there. Touch the small button that falls on the side of the window. Long press down. Alright, cool. So that's gonna act as like the swiping key or whatever. I'm gonna put this to one. Long press. Put this to two. We've taken the lead. Long press. Put this to three. It's gonna press. It's gonna act as touch touch screen control. And for this, I'm going to use E. I have to throw grenades at E. So yeah, E on that. Then for this, I'm gonna press like what four or something. Four. Okay. Then press save. Once you press save. Once you press save, it will automatically save your preset. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. Okay, now the movement, the mouse movement key. You don't want to put that in the middle here. Put it more on this side. And then move the mouse. It'll, it'll read it. Then press save. Okay. Move it. Reloading, cover me. Eat through the knee. Changing mask. Hunter killers are on standby. Hey, Target down. These are just my personal presets. You can change the buttons around if you want them. If you want them to touch anything, so just yeah, how the buttons I use to play personally. Ready to deploy. Can Follow this dude, he went. I don't know. Access one Goliath is ready. Mm -hmm. Smoke out. Smoke. You gotta grab this. Okay. I pull up the pistol. Like I said, this for the school key. So for about if you want to use the mic on this um, and you want to use the school key, you won't be able to use school key because okay, it so only touches up and down. Yeah, it only touches up and down. So you have to get a mouse with side keys like up, right, and down. Yeah, like right and left side keys. So um, you will be able to use. Enemy contact. 
Right here, hold it right there. This is a boss fire just down. to get like a feel. Just get like a feel of it. Straight beam. And all. <laughs> Love Luke and Bot. You don't think you can? You can read by about it, but you could also uh, do this. You could also do this. The side, the score key does work. It's just that you will have to, like I said, the mouse that you you would want to be using with this has to have like the side ones on the mouse, like up and down, left, right, up and down. It's just up and down. The two side keys at the side of the mouse. So you can like press them, like swipe left, right, and across. You know, because like I said, the score key only really goes up and down. Uh, when you press down on it, it brings up this cursor. Then press down it again, the cursor disappears. So, yeah, that was on call. Let's try it on another game. Let's try it on another game. Let's try it on. Just another day. Good job. Let's try it on. Let's try it on counter attack, like a counter strike game. I mean, it is a counter strike game, but hey, you could also change the name of your preset. I forgot to mention that. Change the name of your presets so you'll know which one is which when you're going you're logging into a game. Ooh, I got a case. Let me see how much keys I got. I got two keys to unlock this. Let me unlock this real quick. Then I'll go into like showing you all. Oh. That's crazy. That junk. That junk looks crazy. Hold on. We equip this. We equip that. That looks good. Okay. Now I gotta go and practice. Like I said, this button on the side of the screen. Small button. Press that. Press select. I have two configs for this. This does not have an official config. So my configs. I'm gonna show you again. Long press W confirm. Okay, long press CTRL. Long press left click on the mouse. Long press, space bar, long press, reload is R. Now this, this is what I'm going to have to teach you guys. Remember when I said the side key is on the mouse, so I'm going to press the side key off. Now this is what you're going to do, you're going to go to edit keys, 
key properties then you're gonna go to slide and screen you see the upside up slide down slide mode that's for the scroll key now for those keys you are going to want to left side slide screen for that one press confirm so that's gonna like swipe left and then for the next one donkey I'm gonna set that to swipe right slide screen right slide yep <laughs> okay so that's gonna slide now like I said do not do yeah move the mouse do not move this to the center of the screen don't move it anywhere close to the screen the screen is divided into two sections the moving section and the fire section so that's gonna be it's not gonna move while okay the screen is not you're not gonna be able to move the screen while you move in WSD and keyboard if you put that in the center of the screen so move it while on the shooting the shooting side so you're gonna press save after that <laughs> you can change it to whatever you want to change this to counter attack I'll change it to counter attack 3 so I'll know which one it is save now see on the mouse left right left right left right Left, right. I guess that's right. Oh, okay. That's what I forgot as well. The aim button. Okay. This. Long press. Right click on the mouse. Down. Save. Save properties. Okay. So the scheme is set. There's also a feature on this that allows you to like pull your recoil down. Like if you have like high recoil fire gun, but I'm not sure how to tweak that as yet. So I guess maybe when I figure that out, I'll try to make a video on it. So yeah, this is any game, whatever you want, your presets to be whatever you want, the buttons on the keyboard to touch, set those buttons to where you want it to move. Alright, I guess that'll be all for this video.